Feedback, what's it all about? Feedback is what universities talk about all the time. What is it? What is it for? And how are we supposed to use it? Feedback is often thought of as the twin of assessment. Ideally, the two should go together. But there are other forms of feedback that students receive but don't always recognise as feedback. Probably because there wasn't any assessment associated with it. Feedback, reading the signs. If we were going to say what feedback is, it can vary depending on the situation. For example, a teacher comments orally on your contribution in class. Your peers show their appreciation of your presentation. You engage in a dialogue via an online forum. Using social media, you have people responding to you. At a conference, you're asked for your opinion on a topic you have blogged about. There are so many ways that you can get feedback which you help you with your learning. What is good feedback? What is good feedback? Most of the time you will be focusing on your formal feedback. Comments on assignment, the results of your exam, etc. So what would be good feedback? Feedback is relevant. Doesn't shift the goalposts. Feedback is timely. Doesn't come too late. For example, too late in the semester when there is no scope for improvement. Doesn't come too early. For example, feedback given on items which the students cannot be expected to master at this point in their studies. Feedback is meaningful to students. They recognise the feedback as being feedback. The students should not have to decode it before they can use it. Feedback offers suggestions for improvement. This should offer suggestions and give the students something to build on. So you can see that feedback should really be a conversation between tutor and student, student and student, and don't forget that students also give feedback to their tutors. Students give feedback to their tutors, not just through your assignments, but in demonstrating you have learned something. It's always very rewarding for the tutor to see that their students have learned something. This leads us on to the feedback loop. Good feedback is well thought out. It has a clear purpose or target. It uses a range of channels or media. It comes in many forms. It tells you how things are going. It provides a pathway to improvement. which all feeds into the next cycle of feedback. Who is responsible for good feedback? We all are. Tell us what you think.